Bearcats fans, this is Neil Meyer with the front office news here with JT Smith. And we are recapping the Bearcats 76 to 58 victory over Evansville, where the Bearcats improved to 11 and 2 on the season as they finish up their non conference slate. It wasn't a pretty one for the Bearcats tonight. Obviously, first half really struggled. Evansville took a 40 to 32 lead there in the first half, heading into halftime, quickly turned things around in the second half come away victorious but overall JT what did you see there in the first half that caused a lot of problems for the Bearcats? First half the Bearcats did not defend well at all something that Wes Miller talked about uh, John Newman and C. Maslacocious talked in the post game but you know Evansville was shooting 58 percent from the field and they were getting any shot they wanted and it seems like sometimes the Bearcats were getting their hands on the basketball occasionally but the rotations were late or sometimes the rotations never came at all and you know um Evansville was able to play one-on-one -on -one and, and score. So it was one of those things where the Bearcats were looking uh, step, a step behind and a, and a rotation or two uh, too slow. So um, it was rough. That's why they found themselves down eight points. And the Bearcats fans let the Bearcats players and coaches know. They, they booed them at, at halftime. So, you know, in the second half, they came out a lot better. Um, and then, Neil, just let them know what you saw in the second half. That was a big contrast from the first half. Yeah, I think what the biggest contrast was was the defensive end for the Bearcats. They held Evansville to just 22% shooting there in the second half. I mean, there was a 10-minute time span where Evansville didn't have a field goal there to start the second half. They hit their early bucket going right there in the opening minute and a half roughly and then didn't score their next basket until almost eight and a half minutes remaining in this one. So overall, I thought the defensive pressure was huge in the second half. But what really impressed me the most tonight was Seamus Lukosius' performance. 15 points, 5 and 9 shooting, but came out on absolute fire from behind the arc. He hit his first four threes, and then he buried his fifth uh, after taking some contact and was chirping a little bit. But that's the Seamus Lukosius that Bearcats fans were expecting uh, throughout this season. Obviously, he's been experiencing a lot of up and downs, injuries all throughout the last month and a half stemming from the twisted ankle at Howard, the car incident, and everything going forward. But it was great to see him back in action and have the night that he had tonight. Another key piece to this one was, I thought John Newman played his best game offensively tonight. And it was great to see him take that step on the offensive side because everybody knows what John Newman can do on the defensive end. But you look down at the stat line, 18 points, a team high, 6 of 8 shooting, 16, 16. 16 points. So overall team high, but John Newman's performance on the offensive end tonight was what the Bearcats needed. I mean, there was a run early in the first half where I think he had seven of the Bearcats nine points at one point. So that is what you need from John Newman because if you can get that kind of night with him on the offensive end with C.J. Frederick unavailable tonight, and we found out more that C.J. Frederick might be unavailable for – a little bit longer of a time. As Wes Miller said, he is completely shut down from basketball activities due to that uh, lingering hamstring injury. Aziz Bandego, another injury update on him. He worked out for the first time today. Since that Dayton game, Coach Miller said he got a sweat in. They'll see how he responds in the morning. But overall, that's a step in the right direction for Aziz Bandego. But if John Newman can keep performing at that rate on the offensive end, the Bearcats will be in good hands. Bearcats had five people in double digits today, which was great, especially how they started off in the first half. I mean, the scoring really wasn't the problem in the first half. It was more so defense and then just taking the right shots. And I feel like they played a much more complete game in the second half. And you see they, they won by double digits when they were down eight. So um, now they're 11 and two, about to they get a week off before they go to BYU and uh, begin Big 12 play. So just make sure you guys check out the front office news. My man Neil's working on a recap, check that out. We'll have video of Wes Miller, Seema uh, Sukoshis, and John Newman up on the site. So check, share, subscribe. Um, tell a friend and tell a friend to, to check out the front office news. I'm JT Smith. And I'm Neil Meyer. We're signing out.